to take the lead in the fourth. And the fever really feeding off this crowd, too, and allowing it to fuel them. What kind of answer did the Liberty have in them? Inside two minutes left to play. Trying to end a 9-0 fever run. Touch pass, leaving Hamilton. Corner shot, not there. Seconds left to play. Hall oh, penetrating the reverse falls. Plus four fever. How about switching hands there at the last second from Hall? She has had some huge points. Yonescu to Stewart. Oh, it's a T point. Sabrina with the T Panzer. Cuts the lead to one. Not too much gets Ionescu rattled. 22 points, her four three-point make. And the ball is loose, it'll stay here. And Lexi Hall going back to the last basket. She has really come on strong. This is just a strong move to the hole. See how she switches to that right hand and uses that as a shield. She's able to finish a tough shot and then Sabrina Ionescu with the deep three in a pivotal moment. Uh, maybe an answer. Clark well off the mark. Ball's loose. Liberty have it. Defense! 40 seconds to play. Defense! Liberty trail by one. Defense! Defense! Ionescu, ball defending. Eight seconds to shoot. And a timeout called by the Liberty. With seven seconds on the shot clock, Sandy Brontello wants to chat about it. Well, this is the fourth time, as we mentioned, that the Liberty and the Fever have faced off this season, May 16th at Indiana, Caitlin Clark's home debut. The veteran Liberty squad rolled to 106 to 6, 102 to 66 win. Then it was 91 to 80, two nights later in New York. And in a Commissioner's Cup game for the regular season, June 2nd, the latest matchup before today in New York, five Liberty players have scored in double figures, contributing 104 to 68. So bottom line, the Liberty have dominated in this series, but the Fever not going away in this fourth meeting. They're not, they're doing a tremendous job just keeping their foot on the pedal. And the Indiana Fe Fever have shown their ability to score the basketball. This is a team that has a lot of skilled players, and we've seen it from a variety of players here down the stretch. They're playing well together. They've got chemistry. Their defense against New York today has been much improved, where you saw those stats. New York was scoring 100 points a game. And then Indiana here has taken care of the ball as well. So Brontello has called her final timeout that's not a reset and a reset timeout a new rule in the WNBA that you can call a timeout not huddle up but it allows you to advance the basketball and make a substitution both Indiana and New York still have their reset timeouts left they each get one Yonescu out of the timeout lets it fly that's for the lead loose ball Lady Hamilton chases it down Over the back call. And a turnover, a crucial one for the Liberty. Yeah, they had possession there, could not maintain it. And this is the right call. And you see here, it goes off Laney Hamilton's left foot, and then it's a backcourt violation. So now Indiana's got a chance here to just to just kill the clock, they they got a foul. New York's either going to look for the steal immediately or they're going to foul. Right. And Indiana doesn't have to force anything up here. They get a good look. They can take the last shot. Well, for Indiana, you just got to inbound the ball and expect that the foul is coming. Yes, yes. And take care of the ball. Because New York's going to look to steal it first. And New York has some choices about who to try to foul. Here trailing by one. 
But what an important piece. And, and obviously with New York, we've talked about the reset timeout. Now, this is important to understand for New York. They are out of full timeouts. So let's say they foul, get the ball back. Plenty of time. They can't call a timeout right. to, 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 run to huddle up and reset. The only thing they can do is advance the ball with the reset timeout. Which so you gives them a think chance to score at the other end, which you like about the rules here. And you got to think in that timeout, because of that, Sandy Brondello had to talk about the next offensive play here for New York after this defensive possession. And the Indiana Fever will inbound to Boston. Yeah, you got to foul her immediately. And it'll be Boston's first trip to the foul line. We talked about the Liberty having choices on who to foul. Melissa Smith wasn't in that rotation. She'll now come back as a defensive substitution for the Fever. Good on the first third round coverage of the John Deere Classic is next on CBS. Available now on PGA Tour.com, CBS Sports.com, and the CBS Sports app. Three point game. Liberty called a reset timeout, which allows them to advance it across half court. So now Sandy Brondello. No more reset timeouts and no more full timeouts. The Fever do have one full timeout left. Now do you go for the three here if you're in New York and that's an option. They've got good three-point shooters or you take the quick two. Stewart inbounds to Jones. Over to Yonescu from the corner from the tie. In and out. Fever come down with it. The Liberty forced to foul. Big possession there. That shot had to go in. Now this is a chance for Indiana to extend it into a two possession game. Yonescu is four of 13 from three. The Liberty as a team, 24% today from three. They're normally a top four three point shooting team. I noticed the number, they haven't even reached 80 points. They were 100, over 100 for two of the games they played the Fever. It shows improvement from Indiana's defensive standpoint. That bucket, that free throw, makes it a two possession game. Five point lead. Liberty gotta go the distance, and they gotta hustle. Nine seconds left in the game. Laney Hamilton pulls for three. Well off the mark. Another rebound for Caitlin Clark. Seconds tick off. And the Fever have their win against the Liberty. And, and the Fever told us before the game they had to steal one, and this is one. Julianne Viani Bray, Tiffany Blackman, our entire CBS crew, our producer Deb Bulak, Alana Campbell, our director. This is Lisa Byington saying so long from Indianapolis. The Fever snap a nine game losing streak to the Liberty and win 83 to 78. Coming up next, the third round coverage of the